And that is... That? Oh, hey. Underground belts. Right. So how many of those do I have in here? A few. Good. Uh, those can go back. Uh, I don't think I need 200, so I'll keep a little bit of a spare in there. And that. And those. Alright, that will complete the build. So. Very key point here is that this is net 30 once I have all the stuff, right? But also 4.29 barrels. So it is very extremely important if I'm using red belts that these stay separate from each other until after I have split out the barrels. So, yeah, this, this mix is fine, but as I go down, I will have to do something like that there as we continue downwards. And then wherever I want to get the empty barrels split off, that'll be here. Or, in the alternative, In the alternative, I have this. Oh, you. You need to exist, and I need to get all of that. Yeah, all of that logisticized. Uh, does that need to exist here? No, that can be, like, here-ish. As, just as long as you are filtering out the empty barrels as they come in. Where is it? here. As long as that's empty barrels, and as long as that's the cotton guts, uh, paying very close attention to this is uh, normal, regular old cotton guts that's being produced out of here. Whoops. Oopsies. Uh, yeah, I need to do that. Uh oh, uh oh. All right. All of this is going to be moved over. Well, I say that, and what I really mean is that this will go... There. In fact, all of this will live here. We'll offload, get that splitter there, and yeah, that. Input, input, there we go. That will be that, uh, so that I can have this going upwards. Uh, but it does need to split and go that way. Sure, I'll do this uh, 
mostly manually. that my I am oh well that's unfortunate I had the wrong uh, direction on some of this so I now need to go back and fix that thought I had done the rotation correctly beforehand. Oh well. It's just, you know, six segments that are busted on each thing. Should be one more. There we go. That'll fix that. Uh, this actually is just, like, inputs. Like, th that's not split anywhere. And I think I'll just copy... Like so. Where, yeah, it's the one prior. There we go. Ta da! I will need more steel. I will need a lot more steel, because I need a lot more empty barrels for this system. Oh, hey! Not zero. Celebration. We've got... We've got cotton guts. We have... We have the cotton gut! The majestic cotton gut. It exists. They, they live... They are, they are here. They exist in the few things that we have going. They've, they've made cotton guts. Speaking of cotton guts, we now need to make several trips back and forth uh, between the mall and down there to actually fill those module slots with cotton guts, as well as have steel. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see, do I have any steel here? No, I'm going to go into here and request some steel so that they can, the bots can bring me the steel that I need, the steel of my dreams. Hello, train. That was that was my special named train for the chromium. That just uh, had a head-on collision there. Where am I even going? Slash, what am I even doing and thinking and all that good stuff? I'm trying not to break anything. That's what I'm trying to do. Get back down get to this chest and grab all of the things. Grab all of these things. We need all of the cotton gut. It all must exist. We need over 2,000 units. By the way, that's done now. 
We we are we have succeeded. We have succeeded in our plans for the day. What the heck am I going to do next? Uh Good question. Uh so uh right, that's that's done now. Uh moon moon drop done. Renea sort of got put on the wayside for the moment. I've yeah, so stuff. Uh, here's the thing. We need Arthurians. Uh, alien sample three. Scrondrix. Vonix. Novin. Fat eye. Like the list will just it'll just keep growing. There's lots of things. Never completes the plans. Yes, never, never completes the plans. Exactly. See how quickly that went away. See how quickly those stopped existing. More. More things. And yes, I have to double click on these because they have 30 module slots each, not 25. This is the issue with the animal module slots being. or the animal module stack size being 25 because there are buildings now that have more than 25 modules and it just it can only add a stack at a time that is that is slightly annoying uh, with plants it the stack size with plants is 50 so it's not quite as bad unless you are trying to fill a building that has more than 50, which there are buildings that have more than 50. Granted, there are some buildings with more than 50 module slots. <clears throat> but I've not gotten to that point yet. Uh, I can imagine that by Mark IV, where the vast majority of the buildings with plants have more than 50 module slots. But by the way, there's, there's a lot of stuff. There's a, there's a lot of modules. Now, think of it as when the animal building has more than 50 module slots. Can, can we think of it this way? What about when the animal building has more than 50 module slots? And you have to then click three times or more to fill all of the modules in each individual building. I keep grabbing these. Uh, by the way, there should abs I should absolutely have enough of these studs by now. My uh my delay tactics should have paid off. Uh allowing the base to produce enough studs. But I guess we'll find out very shortly if I even have enough studs for all of this. Uh, add more steel, by the way. Uh, these being Mark II buildings, that, that's another key point. I'm able to process a bit faster the stacks of steel uh, going into the uh, water. Oh boy. Wait, what? Oh god dang it. 
Okay, sure. Oh, it got all the modules, it just didn't get all the recipes. Hello, recipes. There we go. That looks nicer. Oh, it's just like a feels enough situation. I am I am not going to attempt to calculate how many I would actually need to be sufficient. Not even remotely going to try to do that. Vehicle, let's move. Just a little bit higher. Uh, and this is why I put a barrel. Or put a uh, chest, I should say, at the very end. Uh-oh. We need more! More modules! I put a chest at the end so I don't have to worry about overdoing it on the number of barrels. That is that is exa exactly what I have done. I have put a chest at the end for excess empty barrels so that it doesn't choke the system. I'm going to assume I need even more than what I even have right now, which is a thousand. I have a thousand barrels. Uh, but you see, you're not taking into account the, uh... It, it is not actually that simple, because that does not take into account the uh, amount of barrels and travel time of the actual belt, and how many belt you have, how many segments of belt there are, and the amount of time it takes for a barrel to travel. That will influence how many barrels you actually need for the system to properly function. Well, four to six is, again, this arbitrary factor to multiply by. That's, that's, that's extremely arbitrary some random 426 like okay that that sure as hell seems more like a random head estimate to me yes arbitrary I'm calling it for what it is arbitrary picked at random I am done with my studs I guess There appears to be no mathematical basis for you choosing a factor of 4 to 6 for the amount of barrels to have in the system. Speaking of which, more barrels! Although we are all green lights. Ish. So if we are like... Really, to do that math, it would be 64 times 2 times some factor 4 to 6, or whatever. Would be 768. Yeah, that's not even remotely enough because that's not... This is These are really big buildings over a long space with a lot of actual belt tiles that the stuff exists on. So I guarantee 786 is not going to be enough to keep this consistently moving. Now, why are these not 
because barrels. Look, barrels. That's that's what they're trying to get. Is the is the barrels here? There aren't weren't enough barrels. Ideally, after doing this uh, extra stack here, uh, I will have sufficient barrels. But uh, as as it stands. It's taken significantly more. Than that four to six range that you're multiplying by for this particular build. So uh, we've got a few cotton guts now. The final thing to do, because we're not actually fully done yet. Uh, so we have our 15 per second. Let's, let's keep that in mind as well. That uh, I'm actually doing this at half of the speed. Uh, that it is designed for. Oof, oof, oof. At nah, nah, mm -mm, uh, uh, no, 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 no. This, this is the way. Get back in there, you. Now to bring all of this all the way down, and load the trains and finish off the train station to offload the cotton gut. The majestic cotton gut. Uh, I like how this steps down, so I will step down. And uh, you know what? I will actually reverse this uh, and input on this side. Uh, this is a little in the way. Just a, a little bit. So I'm moving it to there. There we go. The cotton got our flowing. Now to add the train. I think I'll add two trains. So I will add uh, half fuel and get these two. Yeah, so stack size 100 times 80 total. That would be 8,000 per train divided by... Once I do eventually get the Mark II studs, uh, that would be 30 per second. That would be four and a half-ish, a little under four and a half minutes to completely fill uh, the train. So I'm pretty comfortable with limiting this to one row each. Uh, that'll be uh, 2,000. Uh, and in this case, it would be divided by 15 uh, rather than by 30, which is uh, two minutes, a little over two minutes of uh, production uh, per train. Uh, there will be two trains uh, of this. They will go cotton gut. Uh, supply. Cotton gut. I call this station. Uh, this is cotton gut supply. I've already I've already forgotten what I I actually do call these station. Okay, station one. That's that's what you are. Cotton Gut Station 1 to Cotton Gut Depot 1. Once you are full and circuit condition, and you can do your thing. And I can add a second train to this, which takes the rest of the fuel. Uh, 
shift right click and then shift left click to get the thingies, shift right click and shift left click to set the thing, and then set automatic, and you are good! And then one final thing to do is to define the station as Moondrop. <laughs> as Cotton Guts, excuse me. I have Moondrop on the brain, apparently. As Cotton Gut, the majestic Cotton Gut. Cotton Gut Depot 1. Glorious, magnificent, and beautiful. We have finished. We are 100% finished. Completely done. We are completely done. With Cotton Guts. Until we get Mark II modules. And then have to replace... And then we have to replace... How many? 2,560 modules with the Mark II modules. So, we'll eventually need to do some work here with these modules. However, we need to plan the next steps. The next steps... Yeah, that's not that many. Okay, so there were things that I needed to do that I haven't done uh, with scaling. Uh, so I need to remind myself that I need to scale sugar uh, and that I need to scale orum. That the, that's two things on my to-do list. Literally, now, on my to-do list, uh, is basically scale this a bit. Um, because despite how this looks, uh, I don't have enough here. I also need to scale manure. Because, again, I think despite how this looks on the manure, despite how this looks, I am not producing enough manure if everything were to operate at 100%. So if I was using my full outputs, this would not properly function. It would be bottlenecked by these things here. Um... That I know of. Yeah, these these things would be the bottlenecks. Uh, so the the raw fiber here is bottlenecked by the sugar, not the casein. I have enough casein for this. It's just that it's bottlenecked by the sugar. The orum is bottlenecking my sulfuric acid and acid gas currently, let alone what I will be needing. Uh, and the manure is just currently backed up a bit. I guess stuff is sort of stopped moving. What's my power situation? Eh, well, if science is going, at least. All right. I am comfortable with moving on to considering the Arthurians. It is that time for the Arthurians. So, making eggs from Arthurians uh, is going to... Uh, require a few things. We have Cotton Guts, Bedding, and Vrauk Cocoons. Oh joy. Oh bliss. Uh, we also have Caged Arthurian, requiring the eggs and Cotton Gut. We have the Cubs, requiring the eggs. Uh, where is the uh, the Mark 1 here. Am I not making these yet? I should this entire time 
have had some Arthurians existing right there. So yes, some amount of Arthurians exist through the initial recipe. Good. How about the pens? Do I have the pens for the Arthurians? I should, and I think that the Mark 1s of these pens are requiring Circuit 2s. So wherever they exist, those are Zenos. Oh yeah, so I had a thought when I opened up the game today. Just just one of those by the way things. So you know that the uh that there's a screen on the start screen for PyCol processing. Just you know, it's it's a uh, the new opening screen. Yeah, so the Ulrichs are the old Ulrichs on that starting screen. By the way. By the way, Pyandon. Another another thing to tack onto the art to do list. Uh, you sort of you you redid Ulrich. Yeah, you redid the Ulrich stuff. So it yeah, that's a that's a that's another thing to update now. Is the uh, the start screen graphic because it's using the old Ulrich. Just thought of that this morning. When I looked at that screen, where is it? Arthur Arthurians. Pens. Am I just not? Oh, here. Right here. These these things. Yeah, I've I've got the I've got the pens. A few. A few of the pens. Mark ones. Uh what is the Mark II, if I even have that? It is a very flat thingy. I apparently don't. Oh yeah, Arcods. I need to do that too. Yeah, apparently I just don't on the Mark II Arthurians somehow. They're, yeah, they're flat. Yeah, they should be right next to Arcod, between Arcod and Og. And they don't, they're not there. Because they're here. They are right there. And I could make them. But I'm working on this tech right now. And then I'm working on this tech. And then I'll get to this one. So... Yeah, something tells me I'm not ready for Mark II's yet on the uh, Arthurian pens. I am just not ready for it. But anyway, let's go into Helmod and have a bit of a gander at the Arthurians. So, I need to start by mass producing Arthurians. Now, the thing about that, four eggs to four cubs. Uh, I just want to look at the uh, uh, fetal serum. Really? Why? Why would you make me have to give these fetal serum? To do that upgrade. Oh boy. So, we need Caged Arthurians to make more modules. That's really the only reason to do this, is to have more modules. Um, my thought on making the modules would have been to just raise the eggs through the cub process. Uh, the reason for that is because we have access to, uh, I need to actually look, I need to look at the food too. That, I can do. That, I can 
also do. Wow. I can't believe it. Here's a bunch of things I, I have. Here's a bunch of things I have slash can very easily get. 